Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to use Tidal in the command line on Linux. So if you don't know what Tidal is, it is a music service created by this man here, uh, Jay-Z, and it promises high fidelity, uh, high quality audio in the same way that Spotify delivers music, or maybe Apple Music if you're not familiar with Spotify for some reason. <clears throat> anyway, uh, they don't have a desktop client for Linux, so the way that you can listen to music is very limited. You can use the web browser, which isn't a really great experience, but it turns out that somebody has made a terminal-based program. So the way you would install this program on Linux is you need to have the latest version of Node.js. So please check the description. We have a detailed guide on how to get Node.js and all of that stuff installed on your Linux distribution. I'm not going to go over how to get Node installed, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of the program directly through NPM. Now, if you don't know what NPM is, NPM is the package tool for Node. So what you need to do is you need to get open a terminal and then you just paste this command here. That is in the article. That command is in the article and you can easily get it uh, to get the latest version of the tool. So just enter that, press enter, enter your password. It will go through and it will get the latest source code. So once title CLI is open, you can just do title CLI. So from here, that should instantly launch the program right in this terminal here. And as you can see, I don't have a track selected. I don't have anything set up next. And I'm not going to show you how to use the app itself uh, because that's covered in the article and I don't have a title subscription. I'm not going to pay for the service just to make a video. That being said, the way it works is if you pretend that this is a, a song here, you click the semicolon button to search and then you just start typing and you would type in this little box here whatever you want to look for and then you can click the arrow keys to select and such and all of the information on how to use this program is in the description in the article uh, just a quick little guide on how to get titled CLI installed and working uh, I hope you enjoyed this video again I don't have a title subscription so I cannot show you the the music playback and stuff like that and uh, Still, that being said, this is a program that works if you do subscribe to the service. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.